guys, welcome back to the Alpha Gaming Channel. My name is Harris Heller. Today, I am not your stream doctor. What? No, no, today I've got something... <coughs> today I've got something special for you. There's a huge update to OBS that is a collaboration between NVIDIA and OBS. And because I'm not really like a hardware techie expert, I'm having someone take over this video who is. If you've been in my streams at all, you know who Lemonade is or Andy or he's been in a bunch of the old videos also. <laughs> Andy has built about 50 PCs. He maintains servers for tech companies for a living. He's, uh, he's way smarter than I am. Is that what you wanted me to say? You happy now? Andy's not there. That was just for effect. Anyway, so you're going to start to see him more in these videos, especially as we get into very specific tech hardware PC building kind of things. He's the guy with those answers. So. Before we get to his section of the video, you can follow either of us on Twitch. Both of our links are in the description below. And now I'm gonna turn the time over to Andy so he can explain some incredible GPU and software updates to help your stream look amazing. And save you a bunch of money. Uh, also, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment down below uh, if you found this interesting and helpful at all. Okay, cool. Look, everybody knows if you want the highest quality stream, the best way to accomplish that is with a two PC setup. Unfortunately, not all of us just divorced Jeff Bezos and have $66 billion of spending money just chilling in our bank account. Luckily for you, there's been a massive collaboration between Nvidia and OBS, making it possible for a single PC setup to be better than ever. Welcome back to the Alpha Gaming Channel. I'm Andy Baxter, and today I'll be your stream doctor. In an update coming out on January 29th, a new version of OBS is being released that has an updated implementation of NVIDIA's NVENC encoder. And if you're not familiar with what NVENC is, inside of OBS, there are two encoders. One is X264, which primarily uses your CPU, and one is NVENC, that primarily uses your GPU. Specifically, the main improvements in this build are that the frames from OBS are no longer sent to system RAM, and are instead sent directly from VRAM to the NVENC encoder, which reduces overhead incredibly. So what this means is that by skipping the middle RAM, middle RAM, <laughs> get, get a little further behind there, I can still see you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. By bypassing the middleman and going straight to the NVENC encoder, it allows you to switch from X264 to NVENC and drastically reduce the resources required to stream. OBS is touting up to 66% improved performance with NVENC, which means higher frames, lower temps, and a lower impact of streaming on your single PC setup. To give you a real world example of your performance increase, when when playing your favorite Battle Royale games, PUBG, Fortnite, and Black Ops all got a 48% increased frame rate in comparison with X264 Fast. The RTX series GPUs have gotten a lot of crap online for being barely better than their 10 series counterparts and not being very price efficient, but what is efficient is their encoding efficiency, which is increased by 15%, which means you need 15% less bitrate to be able to stream at the same quality as their Pascal counterparts. This also means that the RTX series GPUs will be able to stream at a superior image quality better than X264 Fast and on par with X264 Medium. So if you're looking to build a new stream PC and you're wondering what components you should put inside of it, the RTX 20 series are a phenomenal pick and there'll finally be a reason to say RTX on. When building an audience for your live stream, you want high quality graphics, smooth video, and stutter free gameplay. And with the new RTX series GPUs, it is now possible to obtain pro level quality on a single PC. But but there are some caveats. It will only work on Windows 8 or higher because Windows 7 suffers from some DirectX 11 dependencies that aren't there. I'm Andy Baxter, and I've been your stream doctor today. How was Harris? One sec, we're, you know what? Pause, we're gonna see how Harris ends his videos. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're looking for anything, links are in the description down below, and as always, happy streaming. I'm insane, dude! Oh my gosh!